Welcome to this cardio pilates quick session, standing and lying, doing pilates but in a little bit more intensity, getting the heart rate up, but still focusing on form, control and core work. So starting and standing, make sure that you've got a mat and enough space around you. Always starting with our nice pilates principles, equal weight through feet, equal weight between right and left, equal weight between toes and heels, okay? Sink the knees, soften them down, tilt the pelvis in, tilt the pelvis out, making sure that you've got that nice neutral position, ribs stacked on top of pelvis, take a nice deep breath, exhale, draw the ribs down, belly button towards your spine, hardening through that mid drift, relax the shoulders, keep the collarbones nice and open, We'll just start with some nice heel raises and as you peel up off your heel onto your big toe, press back with your hands. Inhale down, exhale rise. So it's a lovely exercise just to start grounding that movement, focusing on nice symmetry through your feet, up into your glutes, tightening your belly as you blow out, opening collarbones, squeezing shoulder blades back, Lengthening through the neck. Really exaggerating that squeeze, because the more you pull your shoulder back, hopefully you're engaging those deeper abdominals underneath your ribs. Imagining that corset wrapping all the way around. So we're actually focusing on your back muscles as well. And if you want to be really picky, where's what your pelvic floor doing? Can we lift as we rise? Drop, lift, drop. So we're starting to engage through the pelvic floor as you blow out. Release as you go down. Squeeze, drop, squeeze, drop. And we'll add a bit of a squat here. So as we go down, we're going to reach and exhale, rise. Inhale and exhale. So getting the arms moving a little bit more. Getting the quads and the glutes warmed up. Good, still focusing on form, equal weight through feet. Press back with the shoulder blades. For another three, two, and one. Good, staying in a nice squat. We're gonna go off to a curtsy. So you're crossing behind you and dropping down. Step. Okay, focus on that breath, that change of position as you push against gravity. Okay, focus on where that knee is going at the front. Keep it in line with that second toe. And now think about lifting through the chest. The back is always nice and straight. And we're gonna hold down the next one. Little pulses. Knee in line with second toe, back nice and straight, bottom tucked under, open the collarbones. Three, two, one, over to the other side. Good, you can go much wider if you wish with these curtsy squats, or we'll keep it nice and narrow. All the principles still apply. Three, two, one. Back over to the other side for a hold with a stretch over the top. And to the other side, and release. Good, take the legs a bit wider. We're going into a side lunge. And then as you come back, you're gonna lift the knee up. As wide as you want, nice and strong up. As deep as you want. Again, inhale as you go down. Exhale as you start pressing that heel down to push back up, and then balance and hold. Good, feel that nice pull through the inner thigh. But work in that glute as you push back up into that side position. Three, two, and one. Good, hold it here. Testing your balance. Let's give that knee a nice big hug. And we'll repeat over onto the other side. So you're in that lunge position. Go down and open up that hip. 
gentle at first, and then bring it up. And you can start pushing it and going a little bit wider as you can. Good, same here. Using that breath as you exhale and you change direction, you're pushing against gravity. Good, open those collarbones. Good, really lengthen up through the spine. Three more. Two, hold up the last one. Good, give it a hug. And we'll go into our sumo. So take the feet a little bit wider, turn the feet outwards, and then sit your knees down into that position. Equal weight, knees in line, tuck the bottom gently, tighten and lift up through the shoulders. Let's take the arms up to the ceiling, take them wide, palms up with a nice big shoulder roll. Okay, into the middle, out. Again, focusing on some nice shoulder blade squeezes, but keeping the shoulders away from your ears. Inhale together, exhale wide. Now your thighs might start to burn a little bit as you hold it here, but we're focusing on this nice, stable, everything is not moving from belly button downwards. And as you open, make sure that you're not flaring. Those upper abdominals are working hard. And another three, two, and hold it nice and wide. Good, you're gonna stretch and bring the arms together, hands together, and then stretch away. What a lovely pull down the back of the arm. Draw the arrow, open it up across your chest. Hands go to meet each other on the other side and stretch away. Open it up, one more each side. Hands together, press away. Open it wide, legs stay exactly where they are. Hands together, last one. And open nice and wide again. Good, bring the knees a little bit straighter and we'll go into our saw here. So we're rotating round and then dropping that hand down towards the opposite ankle. Bring it back up and twist and down. Good. So you're wanting to really open up the back, get that back arm right behind you and a nice pull through hamstrings at the same time. Keeping the knees as straight as you can. Just going as deep as you can. Take it nice and easy. Start getting that blood rush to the head as we invert. One more each side. And relax. Let's swivel round into our lunge. So turning and pivoting the feet so that they're facing the same way. We're going to go down into our lunge position, still working hard onto these legs. Let's go down and back up. And two, just eight here, little pulses, dropping that back knee down. Front knee again is in line with that second toe. Back nice and straight for three more, two, and one. Good, bring the feet back together. Okay, same leg is gonna shoot behind you. Two, three, four, five, keep going. Six, seven, feet together, opposite leg. Lengthen it behind you, sit nice and tall. Get your balance, eight little pulses, drop the knee down for one, two, three, squeeze that glute at the back. Four, five, quads starting to burn a little bit. Two, and one. Good, feet together. Keep that knee up to the chest, out the back. Good, hard on the balance. For three, two, one. Feet together into your caterpillar. So we're gonna roll down. Hands to floor, walk the feet back, little steps, full plank, hold. 
Walk your hands back to your feet, little steps. Roll up. Roll the shoulders, roll down, chin down, upper back, lower back. Pull through the hamstrings, walk the hands out. Full plank hold, drop the shoulders, squeeze the glutes, walk the feet in. Nice and slow, curl the back, roll up, slide up the shins, the quads, release through the shoulders. Let's do one more, roll down. Good, walk the feet, hold the plank, and back. Deep squat, feet a little bit wider, Knees nice and wide, release the shoulders. Come down onto all fours. Okay, we're on hands and knees into our supermans. Lengthen one arm, opposite leg, lift it high. Bring it in, give the knee a hug and then shoot it away again. Inhale together. Exhale out. For three, two, and one. Good, switch sides. Lengthen away, lift, in together, hug, and out. Three more here. Two, three. Good, into your hover, knees underneath hips, tuck your toes under, lift the knees, back stays nice and flat. Inhale down, exhale lift. Five of these. Good, only two more, keep the shoulders away from those ears. Good, last one, hold it up. Can we lengthen one leg, bring it in, lengthen the other leg, bring it in, hold, lengthen, take your foot off the mat, bring it in, other side, and in, knees dropped, knees wide, child's pose, release. Take your time, come over onto your sitting position. So we're coming into our V-sits here. So it's starting to work a little bit more focused on the tummy muscles here. Back's nice and straight, equal weight, weight through feet. Open the collarbones, start to lean and inhale up. Just lengthen the elbows, still holding onto the knees. Good, again, focus on pelvic floor a little bit. As we lean back, we're creating a lot of pressure into our abdominals. If you feel like that pressure is not controlled and you feel any pushing or bearing down happening, then let's see if we can engage. Tell me a little bit more. Use the breath and lift pelvic floor as we go. Inhale up, exhale down, squeeze pelvic floor. Squeeze. Release, squeeze. Another three, two, and one. Good, hold it back. Can we let go of the knees? Can we keep the collarbones nice and open? Can we draw one arm back as if we're pulling on a rope there? And then release. We're gonna come back, squeeze the other side, and release. So we lean but then rotate as the elbow leads the way and release. Good, pulling on those imaginary cords, engaging our obliques. Again, opening the chest, couple more each side. Good, one more each side. Good, and release. 
Okay, down onto our elbows. Feet a little bit closer towards us. Lift through the lower back, lift through the collarbones, palms down to, to support yourself here into our scissors. Okay, make sure that you don't let your back slip. Lift it, keeping everything in a nice line. Lift one leg, switch with the other leg. Take your time with it. Good, so the strongest part of the movement is when both legs are in the air. Make sure you've got the right breath. Control through the belly. Keep the collarbones nice and open. Drop the shoulders. Good, if you're finding that easy, take them both up with just a tap. So no rest in between. We'll keep going here. Think about your form. Think about your lower back, your tight tummy muscles. Open the collarbones, lift the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Into our seal pose. So you're going to lengthen the legs away slightly. Can we lift up? Can we let go of one hand? Can we let go of another hand? Bring them back down if you need. So knees into your chest, start to lengthen it away, lift the back, up onto your hands, take one hand off, take the other hand off. Even if you need to hold your knees just to steady yourself, always thinking about that nice pose, open the hands, very shaky, and then release. Good, one more time here. So starting here, lift the collarbones, Lift into your tabletop, lengthen legs slightly, hands, one hand, other hand, get that pivot position and then opening up the palms. Well done. Good. Feet down. Let's roll all the way down using your legs if you need, onto your back. Okay, let's stay in tabletop position without flattening the back so we're not turning it into a crunch. Let's keep the back in that nice neutral position, okay? Pubic bone in line with your ribs, hands behind your head. Abdo prep, okay? So as you exhale, you're going to lift your head up, inhale down. Keep the chin off your chest. Imagine you're holding a nice little peach underneath your chin. You're not squashing it. And we're not turning it into a crunch where our back would end up squashing either. Try and keep that nice, neutral pelvis. Inhale down, exhale rise. Good, take your time with it. Go with your own breath rate. The slower, the harder you work, the actual harder it is. Just do three here. Give your head a rest, keep your arms where they are. Lengthen one leg, keeping it at that 45 degree angle. Feel your tummy muscles tighten, bring it back in, switch over. And switch. Good, so we're getting a nice length through the hamstrings, length in the knee. Again, strong through the thighs. Making sure your lower back's not overarching. Good, and it should feel quite nice to lengthen the legs there, but your tummy's doing a lot of the work. One more each side, and then you're gonna put them together. So using the elbows as a direction, but you're not coming to touch it. Good, lifting the head, a little crisscross, and release. 